Oh, hello, this is Colin. And on today's tea, I thought uh, people have been asking about tea preparation, so I thought I'd talk a bit about that. So in the morning, well, usually in the morning when I get up, uh, first thing I have is a smallish pot of green tea. And, and this is a uh, Chinese system, which um, is quite readily available. I, I usually pick mine up in Chinatown and they're pretty inexpensive. What it is, it's a sort of a glass bowl in a plastic handle. And the idea is you take your uh, green tea, I usually put in a couple spoonfuls, into a wire, to a wire screen, a net thing. So you put your tea in there, and then you place, after you heat the pot, remember to heat the pot first, then you put the tea and in there and then you pour water on it you don't put it in with the water there and of course once you feel that it's steeped enough you simply take the screen out and put it aside and if you want you can always save the tea leaves because green tea re-steeps quite well uh, problem with these is that they're quite delicate so you uh, have to uh, I've gone through a few breaking but uh, that also means I have plenty of spare screens who do rust after a while. So that's green tea. And uh, in the afternoon, of course, I have a black tea. And um, for this, I use a, a press, French press, I think they call them. Now, <clears throat> the lovely thing about this is, is that, well, it makes a good lot of tea. And uh, it's very simple. You put in, once again, a couple of spoonfuls of tea, depending on the tea with some of the uh, Assam blends, breakfast blends, you can actually get away with one spoonful, into the, uh, into oh, after you heat the pot, of course. Remember to heat the pot. So you put your tea in, and then you put in your hot water, and then you simply... Uh, you let the tea leaves circulate. Sometimes you want to, you know, give it a couple of pumps just to keep it everything moving. And once you feel that it's uh, steeped enough, you just press all the tea leaves down to the bottom. Now, in theory, this will stop the steeping process, but of course, it doesn't stop it entirely. So, if you do leave it long enough, it will it will start to turn bitter and, and be oversteeped. But um, it's, it's um, I think most of the ones I've had of these, uh, tea presses are actually got at um, thrift stores. Uh, surprisingly, you can sometimes find brand new ones for really cheap. Uh, I used to get the ones from Ikea, but they, they, they broke easily. And well, another lovely thing about these is that they pour nicely. Now... I don't know what it is about these Chinese um, tea pots, but it's almost impossible. You got this tiny little spout right here, right? And I think it's almost impossible to actually pour out the tea without lots of it dribbling down the side. I, I it's a design flaw. I don't understand why, why something hasn't been done about it. So. Uh, whenever you use one of these, make sure you have something underneath to catch the, the, the spilt tea because it's almost guaranteed that it's going to get everywhere if you're not careful. So, <clears throat> uh, one last thing, uh, tea storage. I use these wonderful steel tins from uh, a Japanese $2 store, um, Daiso. Uh, they've run out lately, so I've had to start putting my tea into plastic tubs which is just it's just wrong you know um, steel nice and sterile uh, oh yes this is a uh, Prince of Wales which is a, a lovely tea I'm going to be having later on uh, black tea with a bit of um, uh, black currant and the important thing with tea storage is to keep it dry and to keep it out of the sunlight. So I uh, keep these in these lovely steel tins where the sun can't get to it in a cupboard. 
and I've had teas. I, I know some people say that the best tea is the fresh tea, but I've had, it's dried for goodness sakes. So I've had tea for years, which I have drunk not only safely, but uh, still deliciously. So there we are. That's how I make tea. I'm sure there are many, everyone has their own thoughts and styles about it. But um, this, is, this is how I enjoy a nice cuppa. Cheers.